Well, hey everyone, and welcome to another episode where I try to fix this cabin up. First of all, I'd like to thank all the viewers who have watched this series so far. So I've really enjoyed reading all the comments and all the support I've been getting on this project. And if you're just discovering this channel and haven't seen any of the previous videos about this build, then I will leave a link in the description below to a playlist that has all the videos so far up to this one. So I believe this is part 10 now and in the last episode I did some work in front of the house area here. Did bunch of digging here as you saw, laid bunch of boulders here and rocks for a boulder wall and overall smoothed this area out in front of the house. So I think it looks quite a bit nicer now than it was before. But I still need a lot of sand and gravel around the house. But uh, that's not the topic of the day. In this episode I wanna get a couple of things done here. First of all I wanna enclose this addition here. I wanna close both sides, uh, the back one and the side one here. And then at least add three windows. For facade or cover material I'm not sure what I'm gonna use here. Have to figure something out. I mean, I would love to put some old crappy looking boards here or something like that that would match the house. But I have little to nothing left of the sorts, so I just might need to go and buy something. So another thing that I want to do before I actually haul in a bunch of gravel and sand here is add some covering to this foundation isolation material. It's perfectly fine keeping this thing out. It won't rot or decompose. But it doesn't look nice and I also animals like mice can cause damage to it. So I need to cover this up. For covering them up, I got a bunch of sheets here. Now these are fully plastic and super heavy duty, specially designed for that purpose. I have no idea how much these sheets cost. I'm just glad I managed to get them for free. Hmm, what else? Hmm, what else can I squeeze into this episode? Oh yeah, so I need to trim this tree down a bit. I was informed that this tree needs to be removed, but I just can't do that. Sorry, I'm just a tree hugger and I don't want to touch nice looking trees unless they're spruce, pine, aspen or birch for my sawmill. For some middle ground reasons, I accepted to trim some of these branches off. As you can see, there's a bunch of dead branches on this thing and some of them are leaning towards the house. So I have to play a bit of Spider-Man here and maybe also I'm gonna cover up these holes. So let's go check out the windows that I got for this thing. Wow, that's a lot of crap in here. But anyway, I'm here for this. So I got these windows here for free from a job site. That was replacing windows for a house and these were the ones which got switched out. So there's a bunch of bigger ones here and a couple of smaller ones. For the addition, I'm gonna use at least one bigger one and at least two smaller ones. Also, got at least three doors here. Totally brand new doors, but they have these small defects. Like that and this just scratches and small little dents and they were unable to sell them so i'm planning to use at least one or two on the cabin itself free stuff guys i like free stuff So guys, the prices have gone down a bit. For this, I paid 400 bucks. But then again, there is a lot of siding boards here. So these are sold by average length. They do have these tapers at the end. Not sure how useful that future is though. And I'm just gonna set them on the concrete here. Should be fine. But anyway, I have to go right now to my daily job. So I guess we'll pick this up in about four to five days. I guess see you then. What the 
hell. Holy crap guys, that is a lot of snow and this all came down in just one day. By, by the way, check this thing out here. The wind has made pretty cool shapes on the roof here. I mean, somebody should probably clean this decking up. There is so much snow on here. I hope the decking doesn't collapse or something like that. This is the decking board here. Snow up here. Check this thing out as well. This thing is about to fall off any second. Let's see how gravity works. So it's cold and it's quite dark outside plus my GoPro camera battery goes from 76% all the way down to zero in like five minutes so I'm guessing it's really perfect time to do any work here uh, so at least two people in the comments said that the overlap is too much here and it's possible that it's gonna sag down with time uh, my plan was to add some supports later, some steel brackets or something like that. But right now it seems pretty strong and there's no sagging going on at all, even with the, even with the heavy uh, snow coating on the roof right now. So I changed my mind a bit here. The windows I have, the bigger ones, so they would be like... Uh, about this wide. This tall. Most of this wall would be engulfed by a single window. I don't think that would look nice. So I'm not gonna add any windows to this wall. Guys, always use safety goggles when trying to hammer these things out. Whoops. Alright, so this cap is fine, uh, but this cap came a bit 
a bit too short, but I think it. But I think it's enough. All right, so let's do the second window now. So yeah, I think they're fine. But anyway, uh, I can now continue. Uh, I'm gonna try to lay some siding, but before I have to add some supports a bit more. So my siding will actually cover this whole area here, including the upper section. Wonder if this thing is level. It's level, guys. I'm not even choking here I've never done anything level let's check out this side pretty level that's very good to anyone who's wondering how I get my 2 by 2s I just take my 2 by 4s that I made on my bandsaw mill and then just run them through this uh, smaller bandsaw <laughs> So bunch of snow came down here, so you can see the amount of snow on the roof there. Yeah, that's a lot of snow. You probably have noticed that I've been using this a lot. Now this is from the year 2012 and it has been in the creek at least three times. I have changed out the brushes at least at least three times also and it's still working. Nine years guys and it's still running. Makita. Made this one a bit shorter by mistake, but it's not a problem really. Okay, so one day it's minus 10 degrees. And the next day it's plus 5 degrees, which is completely normal. So overnight all the snow is gone from the roof and crashed down on here. But whatever, let's continue this build.
Okay, so the um, what do you call this siding framing is done. I'm gonna do the siding framing on this side now. Uh, one needs to be changed out. So my homemade lumber dimensions are not always perfect and sometimes uh, the dimensions do vary a bit. It's mostly my fault because the hand cranked. It's mostly my fault because the hand cranked uh, racing system is not the best in the world but still better than buying really expensive lumber. So. I need this to be a bit less thin, so let's take it to the planer. So this is the planer. I, I have Metapod TH330. It's a pretty powerful machine. Yeah, that's about what I need. So this wall took only about uh, an hour or so. As you can see, I try to manage my offcuts as efficiently as possible. So. So I have minimal offcuts remaining and for this entire wall I only have three these four offcuts remaining and I'm pretty sure I can use this somewhere else as well And for this wall I only have three of these left So I don't really want to go very far with the siding here I'm guessing I'm gonna stop somewhere here but at some point when I start to work on this cabin when I start to work on this uh, side of the building then I need to figure out how I'm going to insulate this building because right now I'm thinking I'm going to insulate it from the outside. To my mind, that is the safest bet to go, mostly because um, 
the wind barrier. I'm pretty sure these logs don't act as a very good wind barrier. So even if a small crack would be here somewhere and wind would just blow through the log uh, against the insulation inside, that would uh, pretty much make the insulation uh, inefficient or just completely obsolete. So I want to install the wind barrier outside and then I'm just going to insulate it from the outside and I'm going to try to preserve the logs inside. I think in the long run this is the best solution for this house to make sure that this house will stay here for at least another 100 years. So yeah I'm thinking I'm going to just end the siding here so this will give me a bit of room when I start working on this uh, this side of the building. But anyway, time to start installing the sidings. So yeah, I think this uh, other uh, live edge board here that I have made fits this spot very well and I'm gonna use a lot more alder here. But I'm gonna continue now doing uh, what I can do here until it gets dark.
hands are freezing, man. I, I have two gloves on and I'm still freezing. So for about a week the temperature went uh, about plus 5 and uh, now it's minus 15 so we got a waterfall going on which is pretty cool. Check this out. This is pure ice by the way. These are not rocks or anything like that and it kind of gives you the idea how thick this ice sheet is. It's probably about half a meter thick. I'm not really sure why this only occurs on this side and beyond this it's completely normal. So what is happening right now, the water beneath the ice sheet is probably blocked and the water is just overflowing here on the top surface and as it freezes more we get new layers of ice build up and eventually this thing will be super thick. So this is a bit upstream and this is pretty interesting. You can see that there's a hole there, the water is flowing into that hole and then it just goes under the ice here completely. So that's pretty cool. Okay, well, back to work. All right, so next order of business. Installing the bigger window there. Gonna be a bit of a challenge for me. Mostly concerning the weight of the window itself. So yeah, I wanna install that window up there. Have to get it up there somehow. Uh, and then I need to install it. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is get some straps and try to get it up here to the second level. But before I mount it actually I, I have to add some kind of stopper on the other side so the window doesn't just fall to the other side. Do I only have one screw left? Ah, very good. Two. Where's my washers? I have to get another Washer, kind of eyeball it, center. So I'm pretty sure the strap won't break. I'm about 86% sure that I won't break. Uh, I'm about 16% sure that the ceiling won't break. Those are some pretty good odds, so I'm gonna go with that. Try one more time, but I don't think I can actually do it. Yeah, no way, no way. Okay, I have to use my brains instead.
So that winch is rated for 4 tons. It's either gonna come up or I'm gonna pull the entire roof down. Okay, I installed a backup here just in case because I noticed that my first anchor kinda started to fail here. Whatever. I mean, if this setup works, then it's a total win. But if this thing falls down, no biggie, I still have three left. Actually, I don't wanna break this, so... It's a pretty cool window, I think. Wow, almost fell down there. Check this out. This is pretty messed up. My other anchor holds fine. Okay, so next step. Need to somehow get this thing from there to here. Huh, okay. That took a good part of four hours or so, but this was fun. Not in a good way fun, but still fun. I don't really understand what's going on here. I mean, I work, 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 and then suddenly it gets dark and I can't work anymore. At least I got the window framing done uh, today. Yeah, I'm planning to do also, I'm planning to also finish the sides on the overlap here for the roof. I'm gonna do this tomorrow and then I can finally wrap up this episode. I think I've been I think I've been actually filming this episode for the past like a month or maybe a month and a half. So I'm not sure how long this video is. I hope it's not like at least four hours long.
Right. The sightings for the edition are finished now. Let me know what you guys think about these live edge boards for the corners and window frames. Now this one board here is uh, made out of a different species of wood. Sadly I didn't have any more of these alder boards that were wide enough to fit this section here. So this board has been sitting on the attic there for probably the last like four years or something like that. And this board was one of my test cuts when I first built my bandsaw mill. So yeah, and I only had one of these. So I'm glad I found a use for it finally. So to make sure that any rainwater or snow that hits the side of the building with wind does not get underneath the window frames, I added this uh, tar strips under the frame of the window that will eventually guide the water over the side. And the same deal goes for here. If any water gets through this crack, it will eventually uh, just drip over this edge here. So doing this is somewhat important because over the years rainwater can really cause some damage to the window frames. Sadly, I was unable to complete some of the works that I promised in the start of this video. I wanted the foundation to be finished. Well, obviously I can't do that right now because the ground is pretty much frozen rock solid. So I'm gonna shift this work into spring or summertime. I think it's not that important right now. Also, I'm gonna fill these holes in sometime during the summertime as well. And I don't really wanna work on this side right now because it's quite high up there and I don't really feel like going up there with a ladder. So I'm gonna shift this work into the summertime as well. Plus, I don't really wanna play Spider-Man right now, so I'm not gonna climb this tree at this time. So yeah, this video I focused largely on just closing off these two walls and it was a lot more work than I first anticipated. And yeah, I think this is enough content for one video. So I think this wall is a bit boring because I did want to add a window to it, but the windows that I have left are just huge. And it would just engulf like uh, two thirds of this wall. If I do manage to get some smaller windows, I'm gonna add them later down the road. But right now, this is just gonna be a boring wall. Now you're probably wondering what those two holes are next to the bigger window here. This will be a secret for now. I will explain this in the next episode. So my cousin gave me an awesome idea what to do with this loft area up here. Initially, I didn't plan to do anything with it. I was just gonna leave it as it is. The idea that I got from her is gonna be a pretty cool idea. So we'll dive into that in the next episode. But anyway, I'm thinking about wrapping up this episode now. I will pick up working from here, but I will shift everything into the part 11. So we'll continue from that. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.